All right, uh, staying with medicine, a new cancer treatment that could extend lives is coming to Hamilton's Jervinsky Cancer Center. It involves genetically modifying a patient's T cells to turn them into cancer killers. Matt Ingram joins us from Jervinsky Hospital with more. Matt. Phil, this uh, new treatment basically uses the body's immune system to fight the cancer uh, itself. I spoke with a man diagnosed with a very rare form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that only about 100 Canadians a year are diagnosed with. He was given a year or two to live, but with this new treatment, it could now be a lot longer. A career as a millwright for the Ford Motor Company, 50 years married to his wife Linda father to three and foster dad to 50. Blair Chone says he has a blessed life, but a 2014 cancer diagnosis is threatening to end it. A family physician, uh, Dr. Gowan Leamington, looked me in the eye and said to Blair, uh, after a biopsy, uh, you have cancer, we can treat it, we can't cure it. Chemotherapy and a stem cell transplant put his mantle cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma into remission twice. However, the 71-year-old has now been told it's back again, and he has only a year or two to live. And they can feel that there is swelling going on in my lymph nodes. But Chown says he's optimistic because of a new game-changing medication he will soon get at Juravinsky Cancer Center in Hamilton, the first patient to receive this treatment at the center. I haven't given up hope, and uh, look what's happened. Something has uh, come up just when I need it. Dr. Ronan Foley is treating Chone. It's complicated science, uh, but the results are quite remarkable. He says a sample of a type of white blood cell called T cells was removed from Chone and sent to a lab in California where they are being genetically modified into cancer killers, able to track down and destroy cancer cells within the body. These modified cells are used to create a medication called Tocardis, that will be injected into Chone later this month. That's when the action starts. And um, these cells will very quickly, within hours, start to attack the lymphoma. Foley says there can sometimes be difficult side effects, but the treatment could lead to full remission. Look, we're very optimistic here, um, based on uh, clinical trial data, which um, showing response is upward of 70%. That all said, Matt, this is our, this is our first patient. With a majority of clinical trial patients finding some level of success, Chone believes his chances are good. For me, uh, facing the end of life situation scenario, uh, this is absolutely groundbreaking for me. Dr. Foley says they'll know within about 30 days if the treatment is working and Chone will be monitored for weeks after to make sure none of those side effects he mentioned uh, come into effect. Task.